My fourth and final attempt at growing my small business with different marketing techniques was on nothing specific at first. What I did was I went online and I researched different marketing ideas that other small businesses have had success with. And I came across a really good source that I really liked. The source I found was on fitsmallbusiness.com and this went over 26 different small business marketing ideas that have brought success to other small businesses that were one, on a tight budget and two, in a wanted new clientele in a short period of time. So those two different aspects were perfect for this project because those are two things that I definitely was focusing on as well so that I could experiment with the marketing idea, analyze the marketing idea, and then be able to present it to all of you. So it was perfect. I read over the 26 different marketing ideas and I found two that I really liked and I thought that those were perfect for my kind of business and what I wanted to accomplish um, from this project. The first one was never underestimate the power of localized marketing. So for this one, what I did was I grabbed some of my business cards and I gave half of them to Safeway and I gave half of them to my local bank. Both of them are within a five mile radius of my place of business. So I thought that maybe they'd be willing to put these business cards out for their customers to see and for them to hand them out to people who were in my target market that I talked about in, previously in this presentation. Both of them were willing to help out another small business, so they agreed to passing them out for me, which was awesome, and I definitely appreciated it. I have not had anybody reach out to me to make any new appointments based on those business cards, but when I dropped off my business cards to Safeway, I did have one employee book an appointment with me right there on the spot, so that already brought me success immediately, even with just that one new client. The second idea I got from the fitsmallbusiness.com was build true partnerships. At first, I didn't really know what partnership I was able to build with being an esthetician and being new to small business. And then I got my hair done last week. And as I was sitting in the chair getting my hair colored, I realized I could partner with my hair lady. She doesn't do lashes. She doesn't do facials, but she's in the beauty industry and she's having clients who obviously care about their physical appearance if they're coming to get their hair done all the time. So I asked her what she thought about um, being partners with me and constantly sending each other referrals. I would send her people who were interested in hair color and cuts and she would send me people who were interested in eyelash extensions and facials. She loved that idea and she agreed to it and she was really excited, just as excited as I am to both build our business. Since then, that was last Friday, and I've had two new clients book with me just from her sending them my way. And I have also sent a couple people her way as well. So already in one week, that has brought me new clients and made my business grow already. Just by me researching and understanding how marketing works in the business world and how marketing isn't limited. 